is recognized for one and one half minutes. I thank the gentleman and I thank Mr. Ryan. The focus and goal of this budget, as I understand it, is to eliminate the debt. That's a worthy goal. In fact, we all share it. But this budget, in my view, lacks ambition for other challenges. What about stagnant wages, middle class declining, lack of jobs? These are all fundamental issues that face the American economy. The class is shrinking. Wages now are what they were as a level of our economy as they were in 1966. Just a week ago, when we voted for the sequester, it was a day when American profits were at a record, higher than they'd been since the 1950s, but American wages were back at 1966 levels. There is an assertion here that we lack credibility in that we're taxers and spenders. I reject that, but let me remind the folks on the other side that a lot of the policies that got us to this debt, a war in Iraq on the credit card, Afghanistan on the credit card, two tax cuts for the wealthy, promising benefits to everybody else, never paid for, Medicare Part D on the credit card. Then we had the collapse of the economy. Those were not our policies. Those were the policies of a previous president who erased a record surplus. And may I have 30 seconds? And I mean, time has not yet expired. I'll allow you, but if you want to give him 30 seconds now, we'll add it. We'll Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield the gentleman another 30 seconds. The gentleman is recognized for additional 30 seconds. So the, the, there's expired. a credibility question, but there's also an economic policy question. There is an, a, there's two assumptions in this budget. One is that austerity will lead to prosperity, that getting the debt down by any means possible, any cuts possible, will get us to the promised land. It's the pot of gold at the end of the Tea Party rainbow. No evidence for that whatsoever. The second is a faith-based conviction that if you give tax cuts to wealthy people, that will trickle down to the rest of us. No experience in, in showing that that can be successful. We should be cleaning up the tax code. We should be fighting waste, fraud, and abuse, whether it's in the Pentagon or in the health care system. We should be doing that together. This budget does not give us that chance. I yield.